can see why she is Australia's Queen of Yodelling. But of course, Mary is more than a yodeler. And if you know Mary's story, it goes right back. Mary, when was your first recording? I hate to say it, I was about two. 1950. <laughs> 1950, I recorded with my sister on uh, EMI, Regal Sonophone. We lived in Brisbane and we used to come down to Sydney and record on 78s in the Bush Studios. Uh, and uh, recorded uh, a couple of tracks in the morning on acetate. <laughs> and, uh, and the next year, 1951, we came back and recorded all our own material. We wrote everything we recorded. And Rita and I, and Rita is down there on table nine. Stand up, Reed. My sister, Reed. <laughs> yeah. Love you, darling. And at the same table, at the same table, would you believe, there's Jeff Mack and Tabby. Jeff Mack, I've been everywhere, fame. Stand up, Jeff. <laughs> Woo! I've been everywhere, man. <laughs> Lovely. We love him dearly. <clears throat> well, we recorded in uh, 50, uh, 51 in those days, Bernie. And, and, uh, yeah. and of course, people may not realise this, but... Rock and roll hit Australia in a big way. The first rock and roll tour was January 1957 when Bill Haley toured here. And I know John Manners is over there somewhere who was screaming in the audience at the time. But even before rock and roll arrived here, we had artists recording rock and roll in 1956. The year Elvis brought out Heartbreak Hotel, we had our own rock and rollers. What was one of the very, very, very first Australian rock and roll songs, Mary? Well... <coughs> It said that we were on a long way to the top, and uh, they said we, Rita and I, were the first, the Schneider sisters we were, were the first ones who ever did a rock record. It was a little EP, but um, we lived in Melbourne at the time, and it was 1956, and rock, since my baby left me, and that was all out, and Bill Haley, and that we, we thought we'd do a rock and roll record, and we did that with Bill Armstrong in Melbourne, who was with Magna Sound. And uh, we recorded it in a, in a little um, hall and we, we did it with the, I think it was the Lee Gallagher group and they put a microphone in the toilet so we'd get a nice reverby sort of a sound. Yeah, they did that those days. And we did, and we did uh, Rockin' with the Schneider Sisters and I thought it was the first record but I think Frankie Davison did one, one week before us with uh, Bill Armstrong. But that was really, really interesting because the, the, uh, the, the day we did that, we only had three tracks. We did, hey there baby, jump over here, did that one. And we did Ooby Dooby and Honolulu Rock and Roll and a couple of other rock songs. And, uh, and we didn't have another number, so uh, we, we wrote rock, Washboard Rock and Roll the night before we recorded it. So Rita and I wrote that. But I just thought I'd just show you a little clip of the, the Schneider phone, which we played, which was a washboard uh, a sort of gadget, a homemade musical instrument, and we played that in washboard rock and roll. You got that little clip, darling? Yep. <laughs> So there it is, a fascinating glimpse into the very start of rock and roll in Australia. And I know we know Mary is a yodeler, but we forget you know, that she does so much more than yodeling. She can sing jazz, she can sing country. And with Rita, they've formed an amazing songwriting team. Could you just want to talk through the songwriting process, Mary? We, we always wrote... All those years, Rita was a very prolific songwriter from a little girl, and uh, and my daughter Melinda Schneider is also a songwriter. But uh, it just sort of in the family had a musical family, and it came. And then in about the 90s, well, we recorded. I did the magic of yodeling, the sound of yodeling, 
and all sorts of yodeling records where we wrote a lot of tracks on that. And, uh, uh, you know, always tried to do our own, own material. Anyway, uh, in the 90s, I recorded, uh, I got this idea of yodeling the classics. I, uh, so I went to Tommy Tico and I said, what about this idea? He said, I understand exactly what you mean, Mary. <laughs> And, uh, and uh, Rita and I, because Rita was at Channel 7 for 17 years and has a great knowledge of the classics and that, and she was a great help with this because we wrote all the lyrics of those classical songs like Hungarian dance and, and wonderful uh, classics, and it's the first in the world. So we had a wonderful um, career. I, I had a wonderful time doing those Yodeling the Classics 1 and Yodeling Classics 2. It went all over the world. In America, I have a um, yeah, Koch Classics and Universal in, uh, in Europe. And I've been over there many times doing shows with Jose Carreras and Peter Ustinov and different people over there with 72-piece orchestras. My career went another way with all these classical songs. That's why I'm wearing this gear. Yeah. <laughs> So that's what happened. I've got a little clip, but I'll show you in a minute. And uh, you've also managed to stand up to people like Howard Stern. Oh, God, Howard <laughs> Stern. You know Howard Stern? You do know Howard Stern? I didn't hear you. Did you know Howard Stern? Mm. Yeah. <clears throat> well, are we going to talk about Howard oh, Stern? Oh, I think we can talk about him for just a moment. Let's just give... for a sec, yeah. <laughs> Howard Stern was a shock jock of America, and in New York I did a lot of... A lot of work in New York, and uh, they, my record company said, you've got to go on Howard Stern. I said, I don't want to go on Howard Stern. He's a little bit too much, you know, for me. They said, you've got to. He's been playing your record for about three weeks every morning. You've got to do it. So I said, OK, I'll do it. <laughs> he said, excuse me, Mary, but do you yodel during sex? I said, oh, my God, what am I going to say about this? But I said, I yodel at all times. That's all I could say. What else can you say? <laughs> but that was just one of the things. But I worked with many, many great artists in, in Europe, so that was great. And you've, I mean, yodeling has literally taken you around the world. You've played Beijing, you've been to yeah. Germany. Been to, and we've got a clip, a brief clip, I believe. Of... Yeah, I've been to China last year. They asked me to come this year again and sing in the Beijing. I worked in the Berlin Opera House. I jumped out of cake there. <laughs> and I worked in... Be Beijing, how's the time going? Uh, we're, got, we're nearly there. <laughs> Have we? <laughs> okay, I worked in uh, China and uh, I did a lot of work there, but I got bronchitis from the pollution, so home again, back to good old Aussie. So, uh, yeah, but I, I, I've been doing a lot of work stuff over there. And we've got a clip, have we, of you? I got a clip, yeah, of something I did in uh, Europe called the, in Hanover. So I'll just show you a quick clip of a uh, 72-piece orchestra there. Let's dance, Hungarian style. Dance, let's dance with a melody and a smile. long journey from washboard rock and roll to Hanover but I think we've been very privileged we've seen a glimpse of really genuine Australian musical history here tonight I really recommend to people if you want to understand the Australian music industry and what Australian music is about search out Mary's back catalogue there are so many little treats in there about Australian music of all facets please join me in thanking you know the truly wonderful queen of Australian thank yodeling you. and thank so you. much more Mary Schneider thank you Thank you. All I can say is, hello, hello, hello.